Hey there, Internet. I'm Michael, and this is Two Can Play That Game. When the the bit 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 bit. Okay, yeah, this diary. So I'm gonna carry on. I'm not gonna cut. Uh, yeah. So this is another diaries of a newbie YouTuber slash week in review, whatever you want to call it. It's where I talk about the process of what I've done in the past week in order to build and make the channel what it is. So today is the Monday, the thirteenth of June. And the big news, of course, is Two Can Win That Game, where we're giving away two copies of Time Stories. Um, this ends next Monday at midnight, so if you're interested, be sure to enter. Um, yeah, it's delivering anywhere in the world. Um, haven't been hugely inspired by how it's performed so far, but I'll talk about that more when I talk about the actual figures. But yeah, so that's been going on. That's one thing to bear in mind. Also, of course, last weekend, not the one just gone, the one before, was the UK Games Expo. So at least in the UK, there's kind of a buzz on at the moment for games. Everyone's really excited and engaged with the hobby. So I think that could resulted in an increase in the figures, but again, um, you know, that's just one of the potential factors to bear in mind from the last week. What else is there to talk about? So as I say, Two Can Win That Game is on. Also, I have only received one game in the last week, which was this little um, trading card game, uh, TCG, called Ever Dawn. Now, this isn't out yet. It's coming to Kickstarter end of June, I think. So, um, and it's, as you can see, I haven't even opened it up yet. Um, I need to have a look at that. It's going to be a starter set. Um, from the stuff I saw online, there's stuff to do with it integrating with apps and stuff. So I, I need to look into it a bit more now I've actually got it. But uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, it's a bit of a downer that I've only received one in the last week. But... There have also been a lot of contacts flying around of people saying, oh yeah, you know, we will send you this, we will send you that and stuff. So there has been a lot going on in the background with regards to getting review copies for Kickstarters coming, games already released. You know, it's not the major publishers, but it's still, it is more people coming to me and less me having to go to them, which is really good. And I think that's largely due to having been on the press list for the UK Games Expo, that's made a big difference there with regards to people coming to me. Um, so what else there to say? Yeah, I mean, I'm not too upset about the whole fact that there's only one because I have such a backlog at the moment. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just, yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna show you, but there's a pile of games um, that are either part way through being reviewed, still need to be reviewed. I've got loads of first impression videos to do because, of course, the UK Games Expo, I played loads of new games. I played, I think it was 14 new games, some really big hits coming, so it's really important that I get those first impressions out. So I'm working on all of that while trying to also keep the reviews churning out. And at the same time, I need to learn all of these games I'm being sent and I need to get them played. So yeah, huge amount going on for me at the moment. Um, really good. It feels like that means the channel is growing and being successful. Um, just need the figures to follow and they kind of have this week, but we'll get to that. We will get to that. Uh, so what else happened this week? Um, so I managed to get my standard seven videos, one a day done. Um, so that did include free videos for time stories. There was an unboxing, a how to play, and of course, both of those spoiler free. Um, and also a review, uh, which is spoiler free. Now, obviously I haven't done a playthrough, which I often would do with the games that are kind of bigger games. Um, but yeah, it's, it would be a spoiler. I don't think it would have that much of a draw. Um, so I haven't bothered. Now, what I do still have to come out for Time Stories uh, this week will be a spoiler review. Um, so if you are interested in finding out my thoughts on um, Asylum, the actual mission or adventure or story or whatever you want to call it, that comes in the main box, then you'll want to watch that. Um, with regards to those, they've not done as well as I would expect. They haven't done badly. They've all, I think, managed to hit 100 views, which, okay, you know, you compare that to the big channels is, is nothing. But for me, 100 in their first week of being out type thing is pretty good. Um, so I, they're doing okay. 
I would have expected better, but um, you know, it's such a big game, number 28 on Board Game Geek, winning awards, you know, UK Games Expo, it won the general game. Um, now it's been nominated for the Kennespiel de Jara's this year. I'd expect so much more hype and people watching these videos and entering the competition. But I'll talk about it when I t discuss the figures. So um, the other kind of big video that came out was my overview of the expo. So that's where, of course, I tell you about all the 14 games I played, plus everything else I saw. You know, the fact that it was open gaming, blah, blah, blah. So much there. If you're interested in finding out more about the expo and kind of my experience there, then watch that. I won't give you my actual thoughts on the games. It's just kind of, I played this game, this is what it is. If you're interested in my thoughts on those games, as I say, I am working on videos for those individual videos that will be just a few minutes long. So, well, I hope a few minutes long. I mean, I've recorded a couple so far and they range from like five minutes to 20 minutes, <laughs> depending on the game. But uh, the main video, again, that has garnered me views, like the most views this week, is once again my review of the Vikings Gone Wild board game. So this is a Kickstarter that's now finished, it's done really well, I'm really pleased, I loved the game, and I'm really pleased to see the Kickstarter did well, and as a result of that my video did well, and my video helped the Kickstarter do well, so it was a really good, you know, rising tide, lifting all boats situation going on there. And obviously there were a lot of other reviewers and stuff who contributed to that as well. Um, but yeah, just looking forward to getting that now because it was a great game. Um, so I think that's kind of everything I need to talk about. So uh, let's get on with the figures. Um, Let's see, so we've got a new one to talk about in the figures, of course. We have two can win that game. We are one week in. Um, last time I did the competition, I ran it for four weeks. This time, and it, that felt so long and so stressful that this time I thought, right, well, let's try and just run it for a couple of weeks because the first week and the last week were the most um, effective in the competition with regards to you know you only have seven days left etc gets people to enter um, and when it first comes out there's a kind of jump in the first couple of days but otherwise it just kind of potters along not a lot happening I found so this time I decided to do just the two weeks um, compared to the last competition I ran it has done better it's uh, 388 people have entered so far. Now, the last competition finished at 800 and something people. So that's not bad, but I would have expected more because obviously that competition drew in so many new people to the channel who are interested in competitions that I would expect to immediately enter this one. So I would have expected to kind of pretty much immediately get that many entries. Um, and then it's trying to get new people, and that hasn't been the case. Um, I think there has been a jump in growth um, because of the competition. It has definitely done that. Has it done enough of a jump to warrant the expense of the competition? I was really hoping for a lot more. I was hoping come the end of the competition I would have hit that 2k um, subscribers on um, YouTube. That would have been a big achievement, six months, 2k. As it's going I might hit 1.7 if I'm lucky but we'll talk about that when I talk about YouTube um, so yeah that's competition obviously nothing to compare to there uh, Facebook we're 20 weeks on our Facebook page now we're up to 1,251 likes that is a big increase um, this week now, I have seen bigger increases when I was doing a lot of friending people and inviting them to the channel, um, where it was kind of chaining. And, you know, I, I do the odd invite here and there when it comes up in my feed, and it shows you like one, two, or three, I can't remember how many, and I just like go click, 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 and then move on with my browsing. Um, and where people were accepting, there was this whole snowball effect. Um, so I had a break from doing that. I've started again, but it's not reached, it's not caused that same snowball that happened last time. Um, so it's possible that that's partly responsible, but I don't think it is because there really hasn't been much of an accepting going on from that. So I think it is largely the competition that's caused this. Um, I think 
it's not actually that big an increase compared to some months, um, well, some weeks, sorry, but it is definitely a good increase and I think it is the competition driving that. So Twitter, 23 weeks on Twitter, and we're up to 6,487 followers. Now, ever since I hit that 5,000, it's really slowed down. Um, it's been just kind of churning away a little bit, a little bit, a little bit a week. Now, the competition has to be the only thing responsible here because I've changed nothing else with regards to Twitter. Uh, and we had a big increase um, compared to than we've seen in a long time on Twitter, in fact. Probably several months, basically since we hit that 5K. Actually, no, since we hit about 4.5, because after that it started um, to really dwindle. So it's really good to see a big jump there. Um, as I say, I'm fairly sure that is competition driven. So that's good to see. Um, YouTube. So that's 25 weeks on YouTube. Um, views, we are at 29,000. 990 and yeah i i can't believe that either because that is an increase of over 2600 views in the past week and when i saw this figure i was like oh my god what what's happened what's been getting all these views there's no real one thing that's had a ton of views i mean the time stories videos like Two of those have had about 100 views. My expo video, about 100 views. My pre-expo video, about 100 views. My Vikings video, video, couple of hundred. So it's just that whole, having that back catalog there, getting views from lots of different videos that's really helping to build that. And I think, as I've said, earlier with the whole hype of games from the expo and obviously people just kind of maybe taking a look at my videos and maybe not watching the most recent videos maybe just going browsing through and going oh well i haven't heard of that game or whatever but yeah so that's it's been a really good week um i'm super pleased with those views if i can keep that going even near that you know my target for the last month or so has been 1800 to 2000 and i was struggling to ever hit that 1800 and i've just blown that out of the water so i i'm thrilled um i'm sure it is the competition but we've got another week of the competition so hopefully that means another week of really high views and the whole way youtube works is the more views you get the more times people comment the more people times people like the more other people see your videos because it's all to do with those search algorithms and stuff. Um, I don't know the full stuff behind it, but basically the more you're viewed, the more you'll get viewed. If no one watches your video, then no one will watch your video. It's it's really weird. And that's why some get surprising games are actually my most viewed videos. Um, Super Dungeon Explorer, because the competition got so many views to the Super Dungeon Explorer videos, that has continued just gradually getting more and more views to be like one of the most popular videos. And Boss Monster 2, surprisingly, you know, it's just managed to get the build up. And then once it gets to a point, it can just generate, keeps generating because of the search results. So it's getting to that point on the videos and obviously most of my videos never hit that and never appear in any searches whatsoever. And I'm sure most of you have that same problem. Uh, the only way to get around it is to get people to view. How do you get people to view? Well, I'm trying to use competitions, interacting with the community, being a part of the community because I love games and if people know I love games, then maybe they'll want to watch the channel because Some reason, I'm sure. Anyway, uh, so that was Twitter. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was YouTube views. Oh. So subs, 1,569. As I say, I'd hoped for a lot more. I'd hoped to be about that 1,700 mark. So that we, well, 1,750-ish this week. So that we could maybe hit the 2K by the end of the competition next week but you know it's still it was a good increase it was um, over 200 which is huge amount more um, than previously seen how many of those are people who unsubscribed last time and will unsubscribe this time I don't know um, but yeah the competition ha this time seems to have potentially helped more with the views but I don't know how much of that is the contest and how much was the expo because obviously I was pushing a lot there 
But what I will say is I found last time that it did help create subs. I did then lose a lot of subs afterwards um, and it kind of caused a decline in figures happening for a couple of weeks. I'm hoping this time it won't be so bad, but we'll see. Okay, that's probably enough of my ramblings. You know the whole drill of you're watching this, so I want you to interact as much as possible with the liking, sharing, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.